All right, let's get it started. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're now live. Yeah, we're live now. Say hi to the fans. Say hi, everybody. For all of you joining us on Anchor, welcome to episode two of our, well, not really episode two, because we have many episodes of this live thing, but we've just gotten it on, uh, hey, first, welcome, my man. Um, we just got uh, onto Anchor, so we're uh, posting this live just for audio, for those of you who don't have, like, 50 minutes to watch on YouTube, which I totally get. Um... So yeah, if you've gone on Anchor, let us know um, and how you think of the audio quality, if there are things we need to change. We're definitely not going to have the music going throughout the whole thing. I made the mistake last time. So uh, yeah, check us out on Anchor. Um, I know you've been putting it on the Internet Taint Facts page. Yes. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Plus, we're going to be doing some one-on-ones with some people in our local area, just getting more people to talk about, you know, a, a space for them to talk about the stuff they love. Uh, you and I are going to do one. I think it's going to be awesome. Nick and I will do one. I got some other people lined up, uh, especially now. A lot of people want to get in for uh, Infinity War. Mm-hmm. And I know after that, we're going to have a ton of stuff uh, talking about it. So I'm super, super stoked for that. Waves all around. Yes. Oh, actually, the, those aren't waves. Those are just like you can wave to them. Oh, we can wave to them. Okay. Hey, but it's Kaiser. We do have a lot of people. We got some people saying hello. We have Nintendo Nerd saying oof. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we got a guy who's spam in the chat. Grant the Spear says yo. Wendell yo. Winner says hello multiple times. Cool. Julian Mitchell, yo. Yo. Keezer's baby. back. Kaiser. Yeah, Keezer. He's, I don't think he's going to change it like Basquee's changed it. KF says hey. Uh, Grant the Spear says okay, did the Rick and Morty story post have anything to do with the stream? No, it's just the layout of my story now. Yeah. I was actually trying to look at some news this week. There's a couple things, but nothing major. There is that one talk about Woody Harrelson being Carnage. That's what the, the rumor is about. Uh, we knew that he was going to be in on the Venom movie. The only issue I have, is for, for some reason, I've been seeing some memes about Venom only showing up in the last third of the movie, mm-hmm. which would be awful. Uh, Tom Hardy went on Instagram or something like that. He went out somewhere on social media and he actually denied that. Thank God. Okay. That's good. Okay. So, but just to clarify, the reason why we're having a live stream Saturday instead of Friday, as we usually do. Yes. Because we are Greek. Good Friday was yesterday and we had no time to do it. And we just decided to do it now. A bit earlier than usual as well, but... Yeah. But it's a Saturday, so we'll see. If Saturdays work out... Uh, I don't think we're going to switch. I like the Friday schedule, yeah. Um, but yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we got Easter coming up. Uh, usually we have like services and stuff all throughout the night, like every night, so it's really tough for scheduling and stuff. Keezer says, what's up, brothers? We are good, man. How are you? KF, how are y'all doing? Doing great. Doing great. How about you? I did all this talk now, I guess. Yeah. I bought Far Cry 5. Oh, nice. Cool. Um, there's actually another YouTuber that said once we get it we should he's got like a thousand or 1500 subscribers and stuff um and he's really been like super nice like and just commenting on our videos um and he's super into it right now so you should uh is he i'll message him yeah he's playstation so i can message him and you guys can link up and maybe do like a kind of a co-video which i think would be sweet i was going to return it for god of war Mm. just because i don't like first person games or first person solo games Okay. But I just have to keep it. I just play it some more. See, I want to get it, but because of, uh, I mean, I have a mortgage, so it's really tough to, to get to it. But like with all the movies that we're going to. Yeah, I know. That's uh, and I'm trying to, yeah, God of War 4 is the one. But Spider-Man, though. That's, you have a, you have a wild sit for that, though. Yeah, I, I've been saving that for, you have some time for that one. God of War, I'm going to break the bank. I'm so excited for it. Are you getting just regular edition? No, I'm going to get the special edition for that one. Is that just a statue? Or- uh, I think so, and I think there might be some game content. I don't know 100%. Grant Spear says, thanks. I like your channel, by the way. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. He just says, can't complain. Well, you can, but it doesn't change anything. That's true. <laughs> well, hey, we're here to listen when you do complain. Through text. Through text. KF is awesome, says, good. My grandpa's going to need brain surgery in May. Did, uh, was it KF that messaged you the one time? Yeah. Um, but was it he was doing better? His or? grandma had surgery. His grandma I had surgery. He said, and she did better, and his grandpa is getting it made. Well, man, uh, man uh, is KF uh, a I man or a guy. woman? I think it's a guy. Um, we, 
wish you all the best um, for your grandparents. Like, we hope, really hope they pull through. Paris Gull says, you sound like the guy who talks in the background of movie trailers. I assume he's talking about you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've been dabbling in some voiceover stuff too. Um, I've got a video of you as Mustafa. Uh, Mufasa. Uh, yeah, there was one. Uh, there was one company that uh, I auditioned for, and they just needed a one small snippet of the Mufasa line where he sees his dad in the clouds. So I sent what that. What company off. was that? Uh, I don't know. Th this website. Oh. I'm on two websites right now, and these companies are from all over. There's some from the states. There's a lot of them from um, from Canada. The last couple jobs I did were from Ontario, so um, yeah, they, just people post stuff um, around. So yeah, that one was awesome because Lion King is one of my favorites. KF says she is a girl. Apparently, she I'm is a girl. Cool. As we are reading, or I'm going to answer this next question, which is kind of complex. As I'm answering this, if you guys want to comment, just any games. There's a lot of games that have been announced recently, mm -hmm. like at least dates. So what game you look forward to the most? What game you want to see us play? Because oh wow, no, I don't want to see your TV and. I've heard this too. A lot of people are getting angry at Infinity War for all the TV spots they're having. There are a lot. I saw a new one today, and it was uh, just a buildup from uh, in the trailer where they had Spider Man, where spider senses kick in. Yeah. I and it was it. an extension of that. I didn't watch it. Um, I'm trying to. Now I'm kind of on your board train where I'm like, okay, I don't need to see it anymore. And I'm surprised how many TV spots there are, uh, newer ones. Too much, I think. Well, you don't need the hype. Like, you don't need no. all the hype. You, you don't understand how many people that I would not expect to talk about Infinity War are talking and excited for Infinity War. Not superhero people, but have been watching the Marvel movies. And this is, this is massive. I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't think I understated it ever, but I definitely didn't expect it to be as big given the crowd of people that are coming out of the woodwork talking about it. It's pretty incredible. Well, after Black Panther, I think a huge audience came out. Yeah, Cause definitely. Like, uh, you weren't with us, but when I went to the movie theater like on Saturday, uh, but there were like old people there. They were like just a mix of all generations. It was I found that interesting. It's it's incredible, and that's what movies have to do. They like it's great when they bring people together. Like that's the best part of it. Okay, let's see. D Lane twenty two says, "Do you make money off your Instagram account?" So on both, well, I guess we'll answer both. Of you. For Instagram, I do not. I have in the past. I just chose not to because I find it annoying when people post shoutouts repeatedly and don't post facts. So I said, you know what? For now, I'll just focus on growing. Mm -hmm. YouTube. We kind of got screwed over last minute. Mm -hmm. We were uh, we were like eligible to get paid, but then like literally as soon as we hit the goals and requirements we needed, which was just uh, like forty thousand views, right? Uh, it was it was ten thousand views, and we hit that ten thousand views with. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about like it's gonna it, it ties in. Uh, we hit the ten thousand views, and then YouTube changed their their uh, restrictions. So now we have to hit a thousand views. So for those of you who are out there who uh, are liking the Wait, channel, 10, to 1, sorry, one thousand views, and then there, sorry, yeah, well, sorry, one thousand subscribers. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the same amount of views we've hit that, but then a certain amount of minutes watched. We've actually increased quite a bit. They sent. Did you see that email from YouTube yesterday? No, I. You. I've been talking to some guy on email so much. Oh yeah, he's clouds up my notifications. He's. Uh, yeah, he's a fan. Um, uh, he's the first email we got on our account. Yeah, also so, the longest. So him and I have been uh, contacting back and forth because we ended up talking a lot on a lot of the shows that I was reviewing, and our comment feed would be like. 30 just with us and he's like I'm just gonna email you I'm like that's what it's there for so yeah it's it's a lot of notifications coming in but the dude's awesome he's really cool he's a geologist from Denver yeah okay well yeah he says do you make any money so on YouTube we're halfway there I believe mm -hmm. we just need the subscribers so if you guys aren't subscribed to the F word it is in uh, my bio and on the little story little highlights I think story highlights just swipe up subscribe if you can because we are halfway there living on a prayer mm -hmm. do you know the chimp 321 mm, don't think so Oh. Oh, yeah. He's I, not a fan of us. No, I don't know. You can just find a business to make friends. But, uh, mm -hmm. hmm. I think this person did come in before and started swearing off. And I remember me being like, oh, okay. It, I think it was uh, probably about five or six episodes ago because you were like, I am not going to say what the next thing was. Okay, I know, yeah. If you, listen, man, I don't know uh, what your thing is. If you don't mind, like, just leaving that stuff, uh, off to the side for your own stuff, not in the the channel. That would be awesome. It's not really like negative towards us. No, but, but I it's mean, still just negative in general. Yeah. Uh, oh, and people are fighting them in the comments. They're going. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you're on by yourself and you're trying to do that stuff. It's just not cool. It's just not cool. 
But going back to our YouTube thing, uh, oh, sorry, were there any other questions? No, we'll, we'll yeah. we have some, there's another big question. So we hit we hit that 10,000. Um, he's just go joking, calm down. Okay, everyone, we're cool. Everything is fine. He was messing around. Uh, yeah, the chimp, let us know uh, just what your thoughts are on Woody Harrelson being in uh, being Carnage and everybody else there. Yeah. I'm trying to mediate this thing. But we hit that from a review I did on a show called La Casa de Papel. It's, they changed the name to Money Heist, which is stupid. Just for the American like yours? I think so. But honestly, the second season came out. I love this show. I think it's one of my top five favorite shows I've ever watched. What's your top five? Uh, well, I know Breaking Bad's number one. The Wire is in there uh, in no particular order. This show's in there. And then there's so many others. Uh, that I'm trying to like remember like there's some from my like the past uh, Batman the animated series uh, the 90s Spider-Man just because it hit the right point and then there's some other ones I watched that all on Netflix when it was available so I don't think it's available anymore good I don't think so either okay so Julian Metro 5 says talk about a new Infinity War TV spot yes nothing really spoilerish because this isn't a new one it's kind of a new one but yeah. I already heard about this but he says, okay, in a new Infinity War TV spot, Tony makes Peter an official Avenger. Yeah, he I does thought, the Knights of the Red Armor oh, there, and it's so good. It's so good. I thought that was cool at first, but then I realized, doesn't that diminish or lessen Peter's mature decision on not joining them? Well, I think from Spider-Man Homecoming, what it was was more he didn't of want to, like He's an Avenger, right? Like, yeah. I, was like, I don't get you off, but he's no, an Avenger, no. but he's not leaving the city to go live with the Avengers. He's just doing it for this one-time kind of thing. Like, I know Deadpool is an Avenger, but he didn't like, live in Avengers headquarters. Oh, you mean like actually part of the group going out and doing like, stuff? Like, he's just like an honorary yeah. one, like in a way where you can like... like yeah. In the Avengers, the comic books have lots of like characters on the team, but yeah. not, like, there's still a core. So I think right now right. He's, not, he's not a core member, yeah. he's just there. Well, even talking to it in the context of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, he, the whole movie was him wanting to be an Avenger and proving himself Tony Stark. The best line in that, still to this day, I good. Comics, yeah, man. yeah. Uh, Tony Stark kind of fell ass backwards into it. They didn't kind of want him because he wasn't good to play with people, but he just kind of went into it. At the end of it, he decided kind of no, but in the sense that he does want to earn it, but he doesn't need it anymore. He's he's found his inner hero and what it means to be a hero. So I think in that moment. It was kind of, I think in the context of the movie, it'll be more like an off-the-cuff thing. It's like, okay, we've got some real work to do now. This isn't Vulture stuff. You're an Avenger now, let's go, right? So I think it might be a little bit quicker than that. Joe Mitchell adds that it was just something that he's been, that's been on his mind for a while. And I thought of that, I thought about that too, like not as in depth, but I'm like, it's kind of weird how like in the past movie, last time we saw Spider-Man, he's like, I don't want to be an Avenger, but now he is. Again, and and, and I and he doesn't want to, In the I, I, I took it as he didn't want to by forcing it. He wanted to earn it, he does want to be a part of it, but he understands now that he has some growing to do and what it means to actually be the Spider-Man. Teaser says, you guys played Shadow of the Colossus on the PS4. I didn't play it on the PS4, I uh, went to a friend's house and he was playing, it was beautiful. I played it in the original, um, I want to say PS2, Probably PS2, PS2. Um, and I love that game, that's a fantastic game. and. Uh, I've watched some videos on YouTube of people playing it, and it looks stunning. I have not played it. Absolutely stunning. KF says, My sister doesn't even like Marvel, and she really wants to see Infinity War. LOL. <laughs> so then we are finally caught up with a chimp going off on people. Uh, we have that guy Kai says, Hello. Hello, that guy Kai. KF, talking about language. <laughs> uh, Got a little Captain America throwback there. Then KF says, Stop describing yourself. Yeah, we've, we've gone past that because yeah, I was good. looking there. So we're, we're good now with... Uh, then he says, with just the, joking. With the oh, Keezer. Keezer with a threat. Yeah, you better. <laughs> mm, okay, let's see. The Chimp says, what's your YouTube channel? It is the F word in... I feel it. I'll shout it out weekly. How do you not know about this? It's in the bio it's okay. of my it, account. Yeah, if you go to his account, it's in the bio there. If you go on YouTube, it's just under... Um, the F word, uh, and EF word, EF, yeah, the EF word, um, and it's mostly right now just kind of boiled down to this show once a week, and then just reviews. I've been reviewing a lot of foreign stuff, just because it's a lot of really good foreign stuff out there um, that you can watch in subtitles or without. And uh, we're kind of like workshopping some other stuff to add to it. It's a lot of it is just time. We we're working. We've got you know uh, family stuff that we have to work with and stuff. But we're looking at getting newer content, different content on, which I think is going to be some really cool stuff coming out of the gate. Kev says, "I've never been happier. My dad told me he would give me all his old Marvel comics." Oh, awesome! Better protect those things. 
Yes. The Chimp321 says Spider-Man's new Iron Spider suit and Iron Man's new suit are the same material. That's the one, that's the biggest thing a lot of people have been talking about. And a lot of people are wondering if it's his Extremis uh, uh, outfit, which the Extremis kind of like... The bleeding armor. The bleeding armor, sorry. So, yeah, I would not be surprised. Um, and I think that's perfect because, I mean, he's the one that's going to design his suit anyways. Because you can almost tell when he was wearing it, he had more of a defined shoulder. Like, it looked more metallic. It didn't look like his other suit that looked like a cloth kind of thing, right? So that's going to be, that suit's going to be badass. Also, I want to ask a chat a question about this, and I'm mm. going to talk about this because a lot of people are getting mad that Ant Man, because Jim says Ant Man's in Infinity War, Ant Man and Hawkeye are nowhere to be seen at all. Right. And I'm wondering what you guys think on that, but I think I have an idea because mm. Dragon Ball Super did an exact same thing like this. So, in Dragon Ball Super, the ending of this arc are just kind of closing it off. Oh. Okay, after that, I'll get to that. Yeah. Doctor Strange. But after that, like, in this arc, they had a. Uh, there's like a couple people left in this arc. There was Goku, Frieza, and then this, the villain, Jiren. And it's a tournament where you're trying to knock each other off. Okay. Frieza was not anywhere near. Like, they kept him out of promotional, like, videos for the new episodes. Kept him out of mind. Nobody talked about him. Just so when he came out and came into the episode, it would be a huge surprise. And you'd like, forget, like, oh shit, he's here. Mm -hmm. So I think Ant Man and Hawkeye will be kind of like that shock factor where there'll be a big battle and things are going to shit, and you're like, oh, what's going to happen? Like, I don't know. And Hawkeye, for some reason, is going to be a big part in this, and mm -hmm. Ant-Man will be, and you'll just forget about them. You're like, oh, shit, that makes sense. Well, and a lot of people are alluding to, and I think this is almost confirmed, that he is going to be Ronin, like his mm -hmm. character Ronin, so... Apparently, he retired again after school. Yeah, well, and he was in prison, Cap got him out, and I would imagine, like, he's got a family. That's the thing. We look... Hawkeye is a dad. He's got two kids. He's got a wife. So, he's going to come back in no fold, but... I I trust the Russos to really do something special with them. Ant Man is going to be also interesting. Um, is a new movie set after or before? I don't know the exact timeline of it, um, but it's you know it's actually crazy. I saw a meme today where the bad girl in Ready Player One, that was the henchman for Ben Mendelsohn, oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, she's Ghost. Oh, she's, she, is. she is the bad guy so Ghost is actually a male villain but she's going to play Ghost and I think it's going to be awesome I didn't even notice a... it was a female until I listened to the last episode of this podcast yeah um, so I'm really excited for that She and she was and I liked her in Ready Player One she was a little underused for the character that she was but I, she was really cool so Julian Metro says just a quick thought what's up with Doctor Strange's magic sorcerer students are they going to be in Infinity War because those are really powerful people to have to help fight Thanos See, and the big question is, after the Ancient One died, do they still have students? Well, I, they never, they never taught, that's a great question. at the end of the movie, it was just... He just becomes, uh, he, he's in charge of the Sanctum Sanctorum in, uh, in New York. And they don't Chang? show anybody else there. No, it's not Chang. The bigger, like, the guy, the guy, the guy oh, from Doctor Strange. Uh, yeah. Um, Han? Chong. Chong. Chong? Okay. Wong. Wong. Damn it. Yeah, Wong. Oh, so good. I love his character. Uh, so if he's going to be in the movie too, right. we see all the Wakandans fighting against Thanos' army. Of course, yeah. I assume, like maybe, if he, if he still has them, that is if... That's if, if the school is still around. If the school is still around, I would also be surprised. Because Wong honest. is with him in the in that scene. Like, it's Wong, Strange, Wong Iron right. Man, and, and Hulk. And I don't know how many... Because I'm, I'm assuming the other doctor, like the other uh, wizards or whatever are in the other sanctorums like I think there's the one in London and then there's another one somewhere else that's a really good question though that would be a huge help if they had them the chip says Hawkeye is in Infinity War but during towards the end and they talk about him during the movie he become Ronin yeah so and if he's and it might they might have Hawkeye show up in the end to lead us into Avengers 4 right and he might be one of our seminal characters to lead us there uh, the chimp says they use a time zone to go back to the first movie. Well, the people are people have speculated that too because of you know just Chris Evans being in his suit and like yeah. Avengers one set. I don't know if they'll use the time zone to go back to the first movie. It could just be flashbacks because a certain character is dying in this movie. Or four. Or who? Or number four. Yeah, I think I actually think it was between the between the two of them. People are dying for sure. But, and, uh, and I would imagine that they're shooting. The other thing is, I imagine they're shooting stuff for Avengers Four while they're doing Infinity War. It's like they mix it together. We're gonna need this because it was originally gonna be a, a, a one and two parter, and also they're gonna need footage for flashbacks. So also, I did hear 
that um, they purposely had actors stay on sets or not be on set. Like they just changed up the actors. Yeah. Even if they were done shooting the movie, they have them stay just to like avoid spoilers. Yeah, that would make sense. And that, and they had that uh, that uh, thing from the Russo brothers talking about spoilers because they're going to be doing their press junket and stuff. And it's like Thanos demands your silence. I thought that was awesome. They they put it on their Instagram. But uh, also, he said something about the time stone, which I heard an actually interesting theory that I like, because Doctor Strange mm -hmm. is a really big part of the movie. Like, yep. uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is the only guy to actually read the whole script. Yep. So I heard a theory a while ago saying that a part of the movie is going to be with all the Avengers dying, and except for Doctor Strange, and he has to use a time stone to keep on going back to like, the ending fight scene right. and trying to like fix it. That would be interesting. I, I I hope they don't do the same thing where it's like the Dormammu mm -hmm. come to bargain. Uh, but that time stone may very well be the last thing he gets. And it, it'd be even cool if it was like even during later in the movie. Yeah. Where he just like goes even so far back in time to try and warn them of this happening. Well, let's look at it this way. It all started with Loki and Loki saying that he can get the Tesseract and everything for Thanos. And that, this goes back to the theory we talked about already of Loki giving up the Tesseract to potentially save Thor and he dies and everything like that because he, he failed Thanos. So that time stone is going to play a big, big role. I hope they don't use it too liberally because I don't want it to just be their, okay, their escape card. You know, like, oh, we could just retcon this whole thing and, and whatever. I, I really hope they don't do something like that. Or if it ends up being a cliffhanger at the end where something big will hit, like that does happen. Yeah. And then they have to have Yeah, yeah. I think... Well, that's the thing. Nobody nobody knows. Do they... I think if it ends on a cliffhanger, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, and... I wouldn't be mad either. It's only a year wait. But. Also, there was a... At first, there was apparently no word of a doc, Doctor Strange 2, like a second Doctor Strange, but now there is. And that Baron Mordor is actually going to take over as the Loki role where he's going to be our big bad going forward and he's going to be as big as Loki is in the MCU now so once Loki's done is that the guy who walked off at the end? yeah I found that really she like, would tell she would tell Ejiofor I found that really obvious too like I even knew of like as like when they were battling with this guy being bad and the end credits yeah. yeah well and if you've read the comics you already know like he's it's one of his awesome. he's one of his biggest uh, biggest uh, villains adversaries so it worked out really well but it was really cool because they did a good job and she would tell Ejiofor is a phenomenal actor he's a says to be honest i'm more excited to see deadpool 2 than avengers really? spider-man and the others had their time to shine let the other heroes have a piece of the pie lol mm. i disagree well i i get where he's coming from but i think at this point it's almost like you need to see the season finale of of what's come over the years so i get exactly what you mean um but I mean I don't agree with it but I totally get where you're coming from because it's so big like Marvel's taken over everything and there is that whole thing that's like oh Marvel again and Marvel again but it's good if they all sucked and they were forcing this it wouldn't matter and I'd be all well the thing is if you're gonna like hate on Marvel then don't see their movies yeah like DC people who hate DC they'll say DC sucks BVS sucks they'll still go see BVS they'll yeah. still go see Justice so it doesn't matter I watched BVS once again like uh, I showed uh, Soph because she hadn't seen it and I really wanted to see Wonder Woman because uh, we haven't seen Wonder Woman yet like she hasn't but uh, yeah I I didn't I didn't hate BVS because this is my third time watching it uh, I Which didn't want the, the two hour, two and a half hour, and three hour. The the two and a half hour, uh, the three hour I did like, but I felt it was more of a Superman movie at that point than it was a, which was still great. Um, but your, uh, but when you look at it, it actually was pretty decent. I still had the same issues I had, but they were kind of lessened after my like second or third watch. The chimp says the Soul Stone is supposed to be. That is, the Soul Stone is supposed to be with Adam Warlock, but MCU decided not to do that. Yeah, and that's where it might come into Guardians, uh, and Adam Warlock might show up in Guardians 3, uh, depending on how Infinity War plays out, because he's in that, you know, supposedly he's in the... the also, a lot of people got negative, because apparently they showed up the first 30 minutes of Infinity War or something like that. Well, you gotta remember that there was, um, I think it was two years ago, it, it was a WonderCon or a D23 or whatever it was, um, or it might have been Comic-Con in, in general, there was a full trailer that even we haven't seen yet that oh, yeah. was released there and the first half an hour in a three hour movie could mean almost nothing well it wasn't even that it was just they said they, they hated not that because people found apparently one scene with the Guardians really funny yeah and people online started getting really mad because they thought Infinity War was a funny film 
Oh, they took on. like because journalists, yeah. you know how journalists are. They like yeah, everyone's freaking out over everything. Mm-hmm. Um, they did release that intro uh, online where you see where how fa- how Thor got to um, got to the Guardians. There is another one where apparently, and I don't know if this is just trolling the internet. Apparently, there was memes going on then or something going on that Thanos' backstory has been pulled. But I'm like, that's not possible because they're they're coming to release well, the movie. Didn't Joe Russo say that it was a Thanos movie? It was a Thanos origin story. Um, so I don't know exactly what that is. If anyone else has seen it, let us know. That would be great insight. Teaser says Spider-Man movies have been rebooted like a hundred times, lol. And the chimp says only three times, bro, only three. Teaser, I was being a dickhead, calm your tits, LMAO. Well, it, that was a big issue going into Homecoming. Because a lot of people are like, we've seen Spider-Man to death. And even though it's only been it's been rebooted how many times, we've had six or seven movies. Right? Uh, sorry. We've had three, four, five movies. And then they're rebooting it again. And to the general no, public six. six. To the general public, it's like another one. And that's why I, I was I was wa- listening to a podcast and they were mentioning Spider-Man Homecoming and how they had a heavy Iron Man influence in it. But for everybody else, they need to know it's part of it. Honestly, I thought it was like I think we talked about this on a review, but it was like way less than I thought of it. Be. Pretty much everything you saw in the trailer, those were exactly the scenes with Tony Stark, except for one and maybe two, and they were very minor. It was very much a Spider-Man movie. Julian Mitchell says, I'll be down for that whole time stone idea that I was talking about. If it does like a flashpoint paradox type thing to the MCU. Yeah. That'd be I don't know, because that that's like rebooting the whole MCU, which I doubt they would do. But what like Flashpoint, if I remember correctly, because I'm not, I'm not like that familiar with it, but Flashpoint deals with alternate dimensions, right? Alternate timelines. Barry Allen goes back to save his mom. Yeah. And then uh, what was the other one? Uh, Bruce Wayne's dad becomes Batman, like as part of Flashpoint. Bruce Wayne gets and all shot that. instead. Of so parents. I, it might be something to help reboot what's going to be coming on in, but at the same time, we still have the '90s esque uh, Captain Marvel. We still have a few other movies that are coming out. Um, mind you, most most of them are going to be released after this one because a lot of this is going to be depending on what happens in Infinity War. Also, one thing that I want to say... What was this? Shit, I forgot. It's okay. Good. Let's see what else we got. So, uh, Giza says, Oh, oh, the chimichangas are starting to kick in. LOL. <laughs> the chimp Dormammu's sister once stole a Hulk and used him as a sex slave. Well, that will not be in Infinity War, unless it's a post credit scene. <laughs> Joel Gaunt says, what have I missed? Just talking about Infinity War. Talking about Pretty Infinity War, talking about some other stuff. Uh, La Casa de Papel, I mentioned, is a, uh, is a uh, I believe, if I remember, uh, it's a show on Netflix called Money Heist on Netflix. Check it out, it's amazing. Teaser, thank you. Your comment somewhat refreshed my memory. Uh, so, a lot of the things with Fox's movies, right? They're yep. getting pushed back. Yes. Last the deal of Disney buying them. Uh, New Mutants and so will, Phoenix. Will they even release if Disney buys them? I think they still will. Because I know Dark Phoenix yeah. is pretty much done. Because mm-hmm. it's supposed to come out like this year, wasn't it? Yeah, no, they pushed but it the next year. New Mutants is like... They're, so not even... I don't know if it's done yet. Were you the one that said that they're adding more horror to it? Or they're someone doing said? a bunch of reshoots and adding a new character in it. Adding a new character. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have an issue with reshoots depending on the timeline just because, again... They always plan for reshoots. It's gonna happen. Now, in the case of let's say a well, new director coming major in, or their other major, yeah, or like in the case of uh, Justice League, they added more Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman was so successful. Joss Whedon came in, changed a couple things. Obviously, we had the mustache debacle, uh, mustache Gate, um, and all the other rumors that were coming out about Zack Snyder and how they were actually pushed. Zack Snyder is very salty right now about getting fired. Well. I would be too, especially on the back of what he's gone through. Well, he, well, he basically built the whole DCU when he was setting things up for future things, which yeah. he can't do anymore. I argue that Man of Steel is a fantastic movie. I really like Man of Steel, and I watched it four times to like really get it. And if you I change that to like Goku it. against Vegeta in that final fight. Did you see that? What was the? What was that one anime? The one hundred, the the punch, the one punch, one punch man against Thanos, and like they had a bunch of cartoons and memes against Thanos and like One Punch Man, and I'm like, I would watch that movie in a heartbeat. One Punch Man. I don't know why he likes him so much. He's so cool. He's, he's like he's a man. It doesn't matter. And he can't even beat it. From what I heard, he in like later on, he can't even beat his villains in one punch. That's later on. But Spider Man. Spider Man lost his abilities in Spider Man too. We still like him. But he got them back. Yeah, he did. One Punch Man. That's a legend. If you. He had to find him. Caesar says Disney is taking over the world. F you, Mickey. 
man, Disney is turning into the Empire. They are, they are taking over everything. Marvel Mania says A, A to you. A. Okay, wait, the, I heard about this too. The Chimp says the new Flashpoint movie won't be called Flashpoint, but will still be based yeah. on it. Yeah, they, they said that that name Why? is being scrapped, and I think it's to take away from any preconceived notions. If you call it Flashpoint, I think there are there's some baggage there that needs to kind of come with it. And if you remove that, the title has a lot to do with it, okay? I don't blame them for doing that, but they're also on a course correct, so... The thing I hate about the Corn Bros right now, though, is they're announcing movies and then changing it later on. Well, they, 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 they're, they're, they're not doing it as much now. I think Aquaman, Aquaman may very well be a new beginning for them or the final nail in the coffin, where people are just going to be like... We're, we're not on board with this anymore. And I think what Warner Brothers needs to do is stop thinking universe and start thinking movies. Dark Knight, man. It's coming from the same company, yeah. DC, who made the Dark Knight. Listen, and then DC, they went to DC. DC, from the movie standpoint, because I argue that the, the comic run of DC and their TV shows and stuff, infinitely better than Marvel. Like, Marvel only has DC on movies. movies. Um, and I mean, I know there's like Civil War was a massive comeback for Marvel in terms of in the in the comics. Um, there's a lot of really inter there was a lot of major things that happened there. DC needs to focus on one movie at a time, and let's just put out good movies. I'm excited for Cap or Shazam. Me too. That looks. Like Everybody hates I, a suit. I'm like, it's, it I, looks fine. It the, looks comic accurate to me. The thing with the suits is that they always change when it comes to CG. Also, a lot of people. Interesting fact that you made me think of. Everybody hates BVS. But without BVS, there would be no Civil War movie. Just remember that. You think so? No, yeah, I think the Russo brothers said that BVS was the main inspiration to do Civil War. Son of a bitch, I didn't actually start the timer. Oh. This is what we are... This is, we're on the second time. I stopped the second two times, so that's like... Oh, 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, oh, let's see. We've had a lot of responses here. You guys are awesome. Keezer says, there better be some toilet paper in there. I'm about to blow that bitch out of the map. Okay. You're just saying random quotes. I don't understand what you mean. Okay. <laughs> the chimp says, Andrew Garfield actually got fired. That's why they got... Yes, because he was trashing Sony publicly about why he sucked so much. Well, and I didn't disagree with him at the time when it was coming out. Uh, Sony was... Sony was writing cash uh, checks that they couldn't like cash. Uh, they were trying to build this Sinister Six world way too fast before we even like even the first Amazing Spider-Man was okay. Some guy said he's a huge Spider-Man fan, right? Yeah. He said that was his favorite Spider-Man suit of all time. The suit? I don't disagree. That's a cool suit. It's not the best Spider-Man. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best one, but I would say it's it's a very good suit. It's a good it's a good suit. Like yeah. Tom Holland suit first of all. I would I would also, probably put Tony that first. Also, is just iconic. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. But like, why would that be this? Okay, let's see. Keezer says I should cut back on the Mexican food. No, I'm just kidding. You're welcome, sir. Oh, I think to my comments. That's why he was saying you're welcome. The chimp <laughs> says Disney is trying to buy DC as well. Ha ha ha. I would not be surprised yeah, if that no, happened. And, and you know what the thing is? They will probably get it. <sighs> Maybe because it might be a reverse the movies thing. Marvel... Are, the movies are trashing DC's reputation right now. It's just going lesser and lesser in value. And, and not only DC's, Warner Brothers. Uh, and Warner Brothers needs to kind of cut the limb off because it's bleeding. And if it goes to Marvel or if it goes to Disney, they're packing everything up. Like it's almost like what Marvel did when they were selling things off to make some money and they only kept a few of them which led us to where we are today and then Warner Brothers is just going to be like you know what you guys take DC because in that Fox acquisition Disney actually owns the TV rights for Fox anyways for the for Batman no that's actually false is it? just distri distribution rights distribution yeah. rights? okay I thought it was the TV rights yeah so did I but no I was correct later on Everybody posted about that because of me. I felt bad, but I said, you know what? Well, I put it on our, our news wrap up when I used to do that one. Well, that's the time, because like, at the time, that's what kind of that was weird. on the reports. Like, a lot of people were saying that there was a full breakdown. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joel Gaunt says, What's your opinion on time travel? Ask me in three years. Uh, is he talking movie wise or I, is he just I talking in know. general? I, I, I think it's very difficult because it's really tough to take one thing to another. Let's put it this way. You go take a tray of glasses What's from... No, 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 let's put this... I'm trying to simplify it, and this might come across as stupid, so I'm going to roll with it anyways. You take a tray of glasses from one table to the other, they're not going to be in the same place. That's time travel simplified. So it's really tough to have everything in the same place unless you glue it down. Also, you have you heard of the Mandela Effect? 
No. Okay, Alex Plank. For Mandela Effect, I posted a couple times, just like in and out, just because people find it interesting, but essentially it's called the Mandela Effect because people have this memory that, uh, I forget his first name. Mandela. Nelson. Nelson Mandela died in prison. They thought that, because they heard that in news, but then later on he like came out of prison and he yeah. did what he did. Mm -hmm. So people were confused because they heard all this news, but there's no like source of it. Right. So now there are these company things like Chick-fil-A being spelt without a K, or with a K now. Yeah. yeah. Just on being spelled with a K, Coca-Cola not having a dash, or no, Coca-Cola. Kit Kat doesn't have a dash. Right. Uh, Pikachu never has any black on the tip of his tail, which I personally thought he did. Yeah, that little strip at the top of it, yeah. Monopoly Man doesn't have a monocle. Never did. Weird. And now Maltesers. You, oh, I saw that post today. Yeah, I oh yeah, I post that, I think. No, yeah, on my you, story. Yeah. Yeah, that was on your story today. Malt so how did you spell it? Did you spell it teaser, like actual teas? No. No, I, I I don't eat them that much. I know Nick does. I wanna ask him about this. But I always just assume it's called like malt teaser. Like T -E teaser. Yeah. yeah, no no no. I didn't. So if you guys know what the Mandela effect, as we're scrolling down, let us know what your favorite Mandela effect is. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And if you believe in it, because I don't know. <laughs> I find it interesting though, it's kind of fun, just like, oh, I remember that. KF, what did I miss? We're still talking about Infinity War and Mandela Effect. So and what? a bunch time of other travel. stuff. And time Mandela travel says, with plates. Hate to bring this up, but I just saw The Last Jedi again. Just curious, what was the most disappointing part from the film for you guys? Minds or your parents? That is actually, like, I think it's... Nobody got that. I thought it was very obvious that that was just him saying it and not actually true. About Ray's parents? Yeah, like he just said so that she'd like... Well, I think a lot of it... When you look at The Last Jedi, the way I saw it, and you may not see it the same thing, I was explaining it to someone last night, which is really fun, you're bringing it up. It's a big middle finger to everybody that had their own theories about things. What's important, what's not important, what to take away, what to not take away. Um, and I think a lot of people were upset about the Ray parents thing because they wanted it all to be connected. And then maybe in this case, it's, it's not connected. However, it was one thing mentioned in a movie. So that could always be changed. <laughs> Snoke, for instance, I know people were complaining about the Snoke thing and how he died relatively easily. Spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the last Jedi. If you wanted to see it, you would have seen it. You would have seen it already. He says, and everyone's like, no, he can see everything and he can sense everything or whatever. And Kylo Ren just kind of tested it and he found out, no, you can't. And and I mean, it might be a cop out for me to say that, and it might be like, no, like in the comics, he can always he's always self, he can see everything or whatever. But at the same time, one person telling you something and how it actually is, or well, it's like Kim Jong Un things. with all this like. People think that the guy doesn't pee or doesn't poop. Yeah, so just he just said it. Check his toilet, you know? Check his toilet. Check the plumbing. But anyway, so uh, I think for The Last Jedi, the thing I hate the most was A, Rose. Me too. Having pointless scenes, and even Mark Hamill says they had time for him to milk an alien, but didn't have time for him to react to Han Solo's death. Which I never even noticed he didn't react. I just yeah. Never really thought of it. But yeah. I have an issue with Han Solo's death and the way it went down, but I think a lot of it was explained because there was a scene deleted. Was was Ryan Johnson the director? Ryan Johnson was the director of Last Jedi. So the thing I hate about him is he's going to direct that goddamn trilogy for Star Wars. Yet he's refusing to say that this movie was bad, saying that everybody else is wrong for hating on the movie. Well, I think a lot of and that he like, will keep making movies that same way. Well, because he's he's a. Um, the reason I liked it is because it was so different than all the other ones. I'm also not a hardcore Star Wars guy. I enjoy Star Wars, but I'm not a hardcore I'm guy. I'm tired of it now, honestly. Well, I mean, and, and Mark Hamill made a good point. Too much Star Wars. They're kind of like trying, they're trying to keep up with what Marvel's been they're doing. They're just milking that big alien. Dry. Yeah, exactly. So, it doesn't matter to me because I like Ryan Johnson's movies. So, I don't mind what he did. I didn't like the Rose and the Finn thing. I, not, not that it happened, but it was so long and it took so much time out of the movie. Um, other than that, the Ray Parents thing, they're still it's still shrouded in mystery. It may have said there that it doesn't mean anything, but a lot of times, uh, when you look at it, the Oracle told Neo in The Matrix, you're not the one. I never saw The Matrix. No, hey? No, I want to. I think Was it, it still holds up. That? Keanu Reeves yeah. is, yeah. But the Oracle told him, you're not the one. And so we're basing this whole movie like, oh, so he's not the one. But it's not what people tell you, it's what we end up seeing and what happens in the hero's journey. So I think a lot of that has to play into it. Okay. So, also I just want to add one thing, last thing, not to discuss, please, I just want to say this. This trilogy, this new trilogy should have been J.J. Abrams. It shouldn't have two directors' vision ruining it, like Justice League happened. See, I don't know. I think J.J. Abrams has kind of the same thing that... Um, He's kind of a blend between Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. George Lucas is the idea guy. Steven Spielberg can execute. Um, 
bar like taking out the 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 first a new hope right <coughs> so i think jj abrams has a little bit of both of them but he's not complete in one style he does have his own style specifically the lens flares but there there is something to be said about consistency so i i do get where you're coming from teaser again for toilet talk i never thought i would say this but i feel bad for whoever has to clean that toilet wouldn't you have to clean the toilet or no, I think he's talking about the uh, Kim Jong Un. Oh yeah, okay. which yes. Erz, Ezra Miller is a bad flash from the chimp. Well, you can't really. I don't know. You Maybe can't say that because you've only seen him in a movie. Who's, that was very bad. Who's Kobe Elberly? Just some guy I know. No, he wants you to acknowledge him later. Well, on. you know what? I'm not even by there right now. Keys are quick question. Blood in your pee is normal, right? If you drink enough pee, yes. No blood. It's not normal. Go see a doctor. The Chimp? 321. Oh, he changed the name. DC is great at making TV shows, but suck at dick at making movies, and Marvel do so well at making movies, but take it deep and... <laughs> okay, I, I don't disagree with him. The, I was really disappointed, but not di not totally disappointed, but I had more negatives about Jessica Jones Season 2. The, the shows themselves... Punisher, I'm, I'm turning around on. I wasn't a huge fan of it right in the beginning, but I'm turning, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, feeling a little bit better. Apparently, Agents of Shield has gotten a lot better. That's what I heard. Especially after season two. Like, I don't know what season they're on right now. I haven't watched it. Five. I Five. Think. Um, and I think after Infinity War, obviously, the repercussions from that will affect Agents of Shield. Uh, all I'm gonna say is DC does not suck at making movies. Right now they do, but don't I, forget I that. I think right now they're struggling. DC, without DC making movies. A lot of Marvel movies won't be made. Yeah. DC was well, like the start, and then like even Marvel did come up with Spider-Man and X-Men. But if you look at it, uh, X-Men, uh, Batman was before that, granted, um, right. and then Spider-Man the first one, Blade. One of my personal favorites is Blade One and Two that not a lot of people talk about. I think Blade, especially that opening scene, if you haven't if you have never seen Blade, I would highly recommend watching it. Blade season one, f or the first uh, opening, the first twenty minutes or whatever, incredible. Do you see uh, episode or uh, the second Blade, Blade two, Guillermo del Toro directed it, phenomenal. Third one, suck. One thing I want to say is, I mean, this isn't really relevant to conversation somewhat, but I never realized how like old Batman, like the Nolan trilogy is, because it didn't Batman Begins come out in 2005? Something like that. Like, that's crazy. To think of. It's getting it's getting there. It's crazy. Oh, and I think we only have like 15 minutes left. We'll oh, no. close it up soon. Yeah, yeah, no worries. KF says, that is so true to the chimp. Mm -hmm. Scarlet Meme says, Nick is gone. Dang, is he having a one night stand this time? Anthony, you need to get STD test last Friday, man. You gotta be safe. Because you went to Vegas last week. I, I heard. I, well, I remember this conversation. I did. It came back. Let's try to let's try to get through a bunch of these. Jesus says, "Okay, cool for a moment there. I thought I was on my period, but I'm a male, so it can't happen." Uh, Joel Gon says, "I generally prefer this timeline. The original timeline wasn't exactly the best." Again, we're behind. So the chimp says, "F up with that gay shit." Scarlet memes. I thought my water broke, but it turns out I was just having diarrhea, and I'm a male as well. <laughs> Skip some Feel your pain, dude. <laughs> Guys. KF Kaiser, yeah, I would hope you aren't starting your period. That would kind of be bad considering your dude Lamau. <laughs> Keezer, well, this is awkward. I have a boner, ladies and gentlemen. What is skip through these guests? Gets the Kaiser, question. what happened to you? They're talking to each other. It's awesome. You guys are freaking hilarious. Where's your boner? In my nose. Death to you, Kaiser. So <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I'm turning to Pinocchio. Oh my god, how long is this conversation? Keep going, keep going. Don't read them all, just kind of go through it. Uh, I'm seeing just <laughs> in there. Yeah. For those of you right now that are listening on Anchor, thank you for joining Anchor. I know, it's like I acknowledged in the beginning, but uh, everybody out there, if you miss this or whatever, you just want to hear it as an audio, it's on Anchor, podcast style, plus we'll be doing some other stuff, so uh, yeah. Scarlet Don't memes. Worry. Do your job, Anthony. That's Kobe, weird. I believe. Wombo Trilogy is good. Talk about Wombo. You mean Rambo? Is <laughs> Rambo a trilogy? Rambo is a trilogy. I've never seen a single Rambo. They're good. The fir first blood is particularly really good. Julian Mitchell, if you want to make Rain to a nobody, fine, but don't build her up as somebody in interviews and press junkets for almost three years. Yeah. Business-wise, that was dumb. Well, and I, I agree with him. Uh, I, but the only thing I'm saying is that maybe it's not over yet. Um, 
like I said, it's something that he could reintroduce in the next one. Because the ninth one is going to close off this trilogy. So, I totally get what you mean. And I understand why a lot of people were upset about it. Because they built up so much from The Force Awakens. N almost none of it got paid off in Last Jedi. Well, the thing was, they said, Ray's parents will be revealed in The Last Jedi. So, the reveal is not saying she has no parents. That is not... Nope, that's a good call. We might have to close this out. Julia Mitchell says, I mean, seriously, how would you not expect people to get pissed off at that? Understandable. Scarlet Meme says, I'm more pissed than a feminist with a Ben 10 toy. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. There's just random comments happening now. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I'm kind of having a... Joel Gaunt says, so I told the bartender you can buy your own hot dog. <laughs> God, you're so big. Joel Gaunt says in the original timeline, Abraham Lincoln wasn't killed and became like Hitler. Shivers. Shivers. Shiver me timbers. So we weren't behind in the conversation. That just comment made no sense in the beginning. That's okay. It's all good. Ooga Booga NN the sequel. Okay. Keisha Salazar says, I had a couple of beers. Please forgive me. Now I want to have sex with my microwave. <laughs> Okay. Oh man. All right, people. We yeah. gotta. We gotta get going. Um, thank you so much for everybody that kind of joined us. You guys are freaking hilarious. Um, yeah. So Saturday, we're gonna go back to Fridays as of next week. Uh, those yeah. of you on Anchor, if you want, go to the and go on Instagram. Look up Entertain Facts. You can find this for the next 24 hours, and then this time this episode will be released on Monday. Uh, Anchor will go up tonight. And then within 48 hours is when Apple, it's on Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, and all that stuff. So you can listen to this on the way home, all that stuff. Um, and again, this is just a show for those of you listening that found us. It, we just talk to the fans of Entertain Facts. And it's just awesome because we get your opinions on the stuff as we go. And it's just uh, so much fun. And today there's just a bunch of hilarities and peggies and all sorts of stuff. And you guys are just... Scarlet Memes. Closing comment goes to Scarlet Memes. <laughs> Uh, I drew a face on my dick, also put Barbie doll clothes on my dick. Well. Okay, well, we're gonna leave that to the imagination. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. But make sure you're following us uh, on YouTube too. Uh, go to YouTube and check out the F word. We got reviews on there. If there's stuff you guys want us to review, let him know in the DMs. Let us know at uh, the F word podcast at gmail.com and uh, all that fun stuff because uh, we love hearing from you and we're so starting to get some pink compared to everything else. Pardon? So far behind. Yeah, we are. Okay. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's it. We are Anthony and, G and Nick. And G, Nick wasn't here. Thanks for tuning in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man, that went off the rails. Those guys are crazy. <laughs>